from Fat Shame and Lizzo again. And she said, my girl said, this is crazy. And that she is close to giving up on everyone and quitting her music career. Mm. Because some fool decided to say, how come Lizzo is this fat when she's constantly moving this much on stage? I wonder what she must be eating. So obviously, because you know, this with me as being a bigger size, you never know someone's health issues. You don't know someone's body mass and frame mm-hmm. because there are certain people, please and if I'm wrong, Keish say I'm wrong, but aren't there certain people, their the way their body is shaped and the body mass and bone structure, they'll never be a size two no. just because of how they're built. Unless they end up on hospice. Right. Well, well, and we hope that, <laughs> right. you know, that, that doesn't happen. Not everyone will be able to be that size two or size small, extra small. There are some people who will be a large or an extra large, but they still are healthy. Mm-hmm. We don't know what she's eating. We don't know how much she works out. We don't know her thyroid. So who are we to say anything about somebody else's weight? I say this all the time. Just because you think something doesn't mean you need to say it. It doesn't mean you need to put it out there. You think something? Okay. But what does that have to do with now? You're online. You're mad at her because what? She's famous and you sit in in the basement of your mama house with no friends. And you're washing her from the couch. Exactly. She's eating mozzarella sticks. Exactly. <laughs> well, she's <laughs> eating croquettes. She's got, <laughs> she's got, she's got Grammys. She's in the history books now. And you are who? Exactly. And this chick that said it, Leia Halpern, And I don't want to body shame her because, I mean, she's skinny. And look, look what my shirt says. Yeah, anti, anti-body shame. Crap, she can <laughs> get skinny. But you know what? Ain't nobody saying nothing about her. You know what I mean? Right. Because don't but nobody know her. Don't nobody know her. She got a blue check, but you know she probably paid for it. But, um, but Lizzo said, she was just like, I just want to get on this app. She was like, and this is what I get on the app and right. see the first thing. Right. She was like, I see this every single day. And she says she's tired of it. You, you know, got no life. Like you, you have no life. You have no, no life. Friends. If you need, if you feel the need to go on social media and disparage and tear down somebody else, especially because of the way they look. Now, if it's something that they said or did that was totally the antithesis of being a human being. Right. Then if you say, boy, shut up. You sound dumb. Like some of these Republicans and right. some of these politicians. Yeah. Then I could see you being like, sit down. Mm-hmm. Like I talk but about, I talk about Ron DeSantis having a wedgie in the front and the back because of the fact that he's anti-black. You know, and, and, and you you want to do stupid stuff, you get a stupid reward. But Lizzo literally has put out nothing but love into and the positivity. world. Positivity. Yeah. And positivity, body positivity into the world. And people continue to come for her. When Lizzo was at the basketball game and she had on that thong and had her bare cheeks out on the seat, I didn't agree with it. I'm right. Like, Shorty, this kid's here. <laughs> What you did to do, but what you did do it on social media. But I said it to myself. Right. Now, if I was her friend, yeah, yeah, you know, I'd yeah. Be like, Liz, Liz, come on. I know you love that yourself. Wear nice, tight, you know, tight, um, some stirrups or something. You know, have a little shirt tucked, uh, tied up in the front. Do that. But your bare ass cheeks, Liz. 
That yeah, that's it. that's different. But I'm not gonna put it on um Twitter or Instagram and be like, Lizzo need to lose some pounds. And you said that not because of her size. You said I that said it, it could have been that. it could have been Kim K. It right, could have been right, you, whoever it was, it was the fact that their ass <laughs> was, was appropriate. I was on the you, you don't know what kind of germs is in that seat. You know what I'm saying? You, gotta, you don't she know got a what can just, on her ass. You know, you know what I'm saying? Got a, it, a was, it had nothing to do with her weight. I just wanted to say that. It could have been Beyonce. It could have been Beyonce. It could have been Rihanna. It could have been Taylor said. Swift. It right. could have been anybody that had their bare cheeks it, out it, it on the It could have been one of y'all. <laughs> it was, it was the bare cheeks that got you. <laughs> Where you like, going? Sis, that ain't it. That ain't it. That ain't, that ain't it, sis. Like she said about my bonnet. That ain't it. <laughs> yes, that ain't it. <laughs> exactly. But we should be able to show, show, and I, and I know Eve knows that I love her. Mm-hmm. And no, we should sure. be able to to speak in love to one another, even if we don't agree. Right. People Absolutely. don't sometimes don't understand my delivery. I may be, I may come across, you know, a little hard sometimes or a little, you know, insulting sometimes. But at the end of the day, you know that my heart is for you and I want the best for you. That's and right. oh, I want the best for you in your relationship. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but when you when you talk about the relationship, you be that's like, for, it's a, that's it's for a, all of us. Yeah, oh, we've right. all complained about our men at right. some point. No, true, true. We've all true. complained. Be true. like, this nigga done did such and such and such. You know what he does, girl? We, we all do it. No facts. That's a that's a <laughs> We all do he it. All, he pissing me off today. But right. like he said, I thank God that I got a husband that be like, I don't care. You still the sexiest woman on the earth to me. I be like, really, mom? <laughs> I'm like, I know he lied, but you know. <laughs> <what I'm doing. laughs> That's the thing. You be like this. My brother Get my face. Lying. I know you lying. <laughs> my brother is Ooh. not lying. Thank That's you, like sissy. not gonna put down. He is not lying. You see what I see? I'm like, damn. <laughs> right. I'm looking like a man. When he, when he say that, I'll be like, you say that to all the girls. And he'd be like, yeah, because you are all the girls. Oh! 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 My, my boy would be like, fresh enough. My, I'm going to take care of your way. <laughs> My my man be like, no, because you the finest. You the finest. I'm like, oh, <laughs> She have the bonnet on. Crowd, <laughs> <laughs> we say that with the bonnet on. Your eye, breath in, in the morning. In the morning, and he's like, "Come over here." I'm like, "Really? You like me like this? Oh, I never had that before. Oh my god!" <laughs> and like, he be like, "Oh, how? Um, have you ever seen This Is It by Michael?" With Michael, yeah, right. Yeah. So you know, every time he gives a corrective criticism, he always be like, "With love, with love, yeah, with love." Yeah, yeah. With love. <laughs> Everybody needs to do that. With love, with love, with love. He was like, "No, but you're not doing it right." But this is all with love. With love. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I asked Lizzo, "Don't let this little piece don't of don't let these people stop you from." Yeah, just keep keep doing what you're doing. Making your paper. Remember the girl from um oh what's the movie with Monique uh Precious? She used to mm-hmm. get shamed. Yeah, but right, sit a bay. Yeah. And I remember one time she said somebody had wrote something to her on social media, and she was like, "Yeah." As I'm writing back to you on my private plane. Exactly. <laughs> my private plane. Let me tell you. <laughs> they was getting on her about that. They was getting on her about her husband. They was getting on about. I was just like, Yo, who has time? You don't obviously know. got too much time <laughs> on your hands. I don't have the time to think that much about the next person's life. You know, life. some just came over me. You know how you were saying how now some some doctors are having people get uh, psychological right. 
consultations. Mm -hmm. I think anybody that is going to be a celebrity, whether it's a socialite or a celebrity, they need to get a, a, a consultation because you're going into a realm it's not for where everybody. people It's are, not for the faint at heart. You can't, you gotta be strong. And that's, oh. like I said previously, that's why I never took it that seriously. Well, I thought, you know, I do my little gigs here and there, but like to really go full on, I knew I can't handle that. With my, my, my self insecurities and my body dysmorphia and all of that stuff, I knew I wouldn't be able to handle that. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, I, I don't think that, I don't think that I am above it and it doesn't get to me, but one of the reasons why we do Between Sisters and the whole melanin movement came about is because at least the family, us as a family, we're going to have each other's back. Oh, right. yeah. Definitely. And sure. if, if, if it's coming from here, coming from there, coming from there, at least we know that our circle yeah. is what it is. Jumped yeah. a few people. We have it. We have it. We yeah. have it. Look, Instagram we jumped a few people who saying something about somebody <laughs> on it. You talk to one person, you talk to 20 people. Exactly. <laughs> I told one of my ex-boyfriends at the time when I went on a family trip and he was getting on my nerves. I was like, you know, me and my family would jump you, right? Like <laughs> Did you do like you know, you we kneel down and, 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 and I did, like, I went to you know we would jump you, right? <laughs> in a in a New York minute. <laughs> right? I was just in like, we won't care. Minute, in three point five seconds, we would be on your ass. <laughs> and with just a few words <laughs> in the beehive. We don't need to get violent. Words. We don't need to get violent. We never we don't touch you so deep just with what we say to you. That's what we gonna say. And we go, you know what we gonna say afterwards? He gonna cry in the car. He gonna, <laughs> cry. He gonna, he gonna cry in the car. You know he gonna cry. In the car. Remember, remember one years ago that girl was talking about how somebody your weight loss or something. It was, okay. it was talking about me saying they the girl said that I had plastic surgery. And at that she time, said like you I had a tummy tuck or something. Yeah, she right. said I had a tummy tuck, and I was like. You know, and at that time, I was like, I need one. <laughs> what are you talking about? I Wait, remember I chimed in was like, you all like, chimed in. Who need they ask me? I was like, is there somebody <laughs> we need to handle? Like, let me know. Because we fucking ripped her to shreds. I think uh, we commented on it. Like, everybody was just. Came in like Dr. Schultz from Django. Everybody just calm down. <laughs> calm down. Yes. Yes. She was like, I'll handle it. I'll handle it. She was like, wait, I'll handle it. Wait. I was like, is this something you need to handle? Right. <laughs> Keisha won't say nothing. She would just be like, is this something that we need to handle? <laughs> she, she just asked a question. When she asked that question, you don't say, like, nah, you no good. Part. You good? That's it. You good? Like, like Shaza, like Shaza in different world. Blessed are those that ask the question, mother. <laughs> oh, she was like, is this something that we need to handle? I'm like, oh, I'm shit, like, yeah, keeps to come. <laughs> but it did. It come out of nowhere. It, it, come go out of nowhere. it goes back to just because you think something does it mean it has you to have be said to on the social media? So like even with the, so, the security guard, she shouldn't have said anything about your hair. She shouldn't have yeah. said shit about your hair. Like, Mind your fucking business and do your job. She had the $10 wig from the beauty supply store. That's what I was not getting. I said, miss, I saw you in your plain clothes after work before. <laughs> It was, it was, it was, it was like crunchy at the end because it was a synthetic. She had a bang, like, <laughs> you know, it was it get hard. You get it hard when it get old. You know. <laughs> I looked at him. I was like, popcorn at the end. You know, it turned into little popcorn pieces at the end of the ah! room. <laughs> so so the crazy thing it about is. it. The crazy thing about it, though, I'm like this in my head. I'm like, you don't know me enough to say something like that to me. Right. Right. You're not one of my, you're not one of my homies. Right. You're not somebody I'm dealing with. You're not my sisters or nothing. So what makes you think? Cause I said, hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. I don't like your hair like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, when you come to work 
everybody and their mother knows when you come to work, that threshold, like before you came to work, you had to psych yourself out. To get to work. Yo, and the crazy thing work. about it, I just got out the car. My man dropped me off off the work. I was all happy, had about to get. I'm like, ooh, I'm about to get my coffee. I'm about to do everything. Yeah, start this day. I'm like, yeah, like I'm that. Do all of this. It's a Monday, and I usually work from home on Monday. So I was just like, damn, I gotta go in on a Monday. And then once I came in, I don't like it here, bitch. It's it's not even nine o'clock yet, though. <laughs> like, like, can I get caffeine like, first before you want to insult me? And can I just say about all of us and our family, we don't ever say anything about anybody until until you, you come about for us. One of us. Yo, I will be by our business. My mantra is like in life, in I, was, I love to make other people feel special and feel yeah. happy and feel yeah. good about themselves. Yeah. But the minute you, the minute you come for me, the minute you or come for me, I love, or for my family, or for my rest. girls, or and then, all then I'm gonna all. have to cut you deep. <laughs> and, the, and the thing is, I called my boyfriend on Facetime when I got to say, I said, "Look what this bitch said to me." <laughs> this bitch downstairs said to me. She said, "He was just like, I just dropped you off. What happened?" I, like, <laughs> like, I just left you. I just left. What happened? I said she came for me. She came for me. She never came for me. Yeah, we are. Well, I know. You don't, I don't come. Still, for, we don't start don't nothing. We don't me. start nothing. We don't start it. Well, and we're gonna finish we it. We are not always Michelle Obama. When, no. When, when you we go, go low, low, we I go lower. I go lower. I got my shovel, so I can <laughs> dig fourteen layers underneath your low. We going deep. He was in a in a drive through at a bank and something happened. I think it was something happened between him and a Karen. And he got out of the car. He's like, I wish my wife was here because he knows me. <laughs> he couldn't say nothing. He said no. like that. I wish my wife was here. Because you no, know I that bitch to shred. <laughs> And I'll be telling that I'll be telling that to my husband all the time. I'm just and he be telling me stuff that be happening with different issues that you know. Wait, when he, be like Pinky, when he was like, say something else, and he'd be like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. I'm telling you niggas, I burn that place down. I'd be like, don't say nothing. Let me. <laughs> I'd be like, please, just let me. Please tag me in. Tag, tag me in. Me. <laughs> tag me. Tag me. And then <laughs> No, it's a point where if somebody says something to me and I just sit there, all you see and feel is somebody's rubbing on my back, like, all right, don't do nothing. Don't <laughs> angry. Calm down. Every time something's about to happen, all I feel is somebody on my back, like, it's all right. Don't do nothing. Don't do nothing. It's all right. They didn't. Don't show. Everybody just calm down. Because <laughs> I'll be ready. Like, if my face is like, excuse me, what? You said something? <laughs> Because you're miserable in your own life and you now want to make everybody exactly. else exactly. Exactly. that energy to me. I'm like, I don't yeah. really that no, you ain't going to transfer that to me. No. Misery I'm a, loves I'm company. A, I'm a blow that back at social media. That's what people yeah. on social media do. They, they, yeah. they, they do these with their fingers and they try to affect anybody who they are because they're in that small space in right. their life. And they're mm -hmm. not doing well. So they try to attack people like Kaya, you know, whoever it is. Right. They try to attack them because they're unhappy and they try right. to get that negative. Because energy is, 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 is real. Yeah. 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 Right. Transference Lizzo, of energy. Lizzo, who is, has, a, 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 you know, who has a lot of confidence from what we see and what we hear from her. Mm -hmm. For her to even contemplate even just shutting down her music career. Cause these people are trolling her is because that energy and when you got thousands or hundreds of people with this negative energy coming towards you really quick story i saw when um chloe kardashian had her own little show one time and she would have like special invited guests so one time she had um some celebrity and his wife and they had one other person on the show and the, the subject was social media and they all admitted that they do not look at what people say to yeah. them they said, they, they, that too. they said that once in a while, they all admit it once in a while, they do sit and look at comments and they leave feeling like shit because people are so heartless. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I was watching one of the Halle Bailey interviews because I I think they asked her what did um, Beyonce say when she found out that you know she would be the Little Mermaid, and she said, "Don't read the comments." Wow. She told her, "Don't read the comments." Wow. Well, I'm glad you said that because. The article that I had pulled up for the Lizzo information of what she said was on Yahoo. And after the, you know, once they have the story, then you have people that comment. Comment, right. The very first comment on Yahoo said, that would be great. I'm tired of seeing her trying to convince people that morbid obesity is healthy. Mm -mm -mm. And then you have... Another person that said, well, then stop flaunting your flap and flapping your folds because a few challenged people from Idiotville say, you go, girl. You never saw Pearl Bailey or Ella Fitzgerald or Aretha Franklin strut on stage in bikinis. Never mind the health risks. It's just plain not attractive and it will never be. But it's not attractive to who? To you. There are a lot of men who like plus size girls. Yeah, everybody that commented on this had something negative to say. They right. basically reinforced that narrative. Right. It's just, that's why you don't read the comments. the comments. I don't read the comments until I see somebody say something about <laughs> what are y'all? And then I'll be like, wait, what happened? <laughs> what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> like, I don't read the comments. What's going on? I don't read the comment. I don't like reading the comments either. It's a lot of stuff. I don't. I got time. I got. I have well, a, part part of a part career. of this business that we're in, um, interacting with the comments is a part of. Unfortunately, I, with this, it's a part of the game. I, you know, mm-hmm. but um, but it's just I, like, meaning I don't talk about my looks. I don't, I, I try not that's, to Yeah, but that's anything. something totally different. Like, you can say something like, I don't agree with what you said. That's something totally right. different. But saying something about somebody's forehead, saying something about mm-hmm. my hair, like, what does that have to do with what I said? Right, exactly. And those my are looks, the comments I won't address. Yeah, my looks are are none of your concern because guess what? I've been married for a long time and my man still love me the way that I'm is. Mm-hmm. And he still think that I'm the sexiest goyal in the royal. Don't forget to check out our website for all of your merch.